Attack on Titan, 10 Best Falco Quotes Throughout his story, Falco had a lot of development and became a fan-favorite warrior in the entire Attack on Titan series. After years of Attack on Titan fans seeing the Survey Corps as the protagonists of the manga, they were shocked to be introduced to a lot of new characters in the Marley arc, which showed the antagonists of the series from earlier arcs as heroes. One of the main characters in the Marley and War for Parody arcs was Falco Grice. A warrior candidate that would eventually inherit the Jaw Titan. Throughout his story, Falco had a lot of development and became a fan favorite warrior in the entire series. These 10 quotes from the manga are his best. 10. The most clear memory is one of flying above the clouds it feels like that's something that I can do too. Falco was a very unique titan shifter. Even though he had inherited the jaw titan from Porco. He also had Zeke's spinal fluid inside of him, which gave him characteristics of beast titan's inheritors. He obtained a memory of a previous beast titan which helped him realize that his titan could fly. Unlike any of the other nine titans in that time period. He, Gabby, and Annie decided to help their friends fight against the rumbling by using Falco's greatest ability. 9. Hey, you. It's dangerous here. Go fly somewhere far away. You got wings. So use, M. Falco was first introduced in the war between Marley and the Mideast Allied forces. He lied on the ground and looked up at a bird flying above him. He said these words before his brother, Colt, saved him. Though it seemed unimportant at the time, this quote was one of the ways that Falco eventually having the power to fly was foreshadowed. 8. That letter I delivered for you. Where did it go? You told me it was going to your family. In order to attack Marley, inherit the Warhammer Titan, and bring Zeke to parody. Aaron disguised himself as a patient in a hospital named Kruger and befriended Falco. He had the young warrior candidate deliver a letter for him, which was sent to the Survey Corps. When Falco learned who Aaron really was, he was shocked and devastated, feeling betrayed by someone he had admired. 7. I heard you talking to yourself last night. Sasha, isn't that the name of one of your fellow soldiers? The girl Gabby shot in the airship. Full quote, I heard you talking to yourself last night. Sasha, isn't that the name of one of your fellow soldiers? The girl Gabby shot in the airship. You knew who I was all this time but you pretended you didn't as you took me here. Why is that? Are you planning on getting revenge on me? Once Falco inherited the Jaw Titan, Connie saw this as the perfect opportunity to save his mother, who Zeke transformed into a Titan years prior. He tricked Falco into going to his village and planned to feed him to his mother, but Falco was able to catch on. Though Connie convinced Falco that he wasn't going to hurt him. He was only saved because Armin convinced Connie that he was wrong by nearly sacrificing himself. Connie stopped Armin and realized that his mother wouldn't want to be a titan shifter. 6. She's famous here in this district. She's even been recognized for what she did in war already. Full quote, she's famous here in this district. She's even been recognized for what she did in war already. Just about everyone would say that the next armor should be her. But, I'm powerless. So it's all going to end without me doing a thing. When Aaron pretended to be friends with Falco. The warrior candidate opened up about how he wanted to be the armored titan instead of Gabby, which also hinted at his feelings for her. However, even though Gabby had fought more than Falco had at the beginning of their stories. He would catch up and played a big role in defeating Aaron as he was able to save his comrades. 5. Sir, I'll call for help. Not everyone out there is an enemy. There's me, there's Gabby, all of us are on your side. 
Falco learned who Aaron actually was when he brought Reiner to him. Once Aaron transformed and attacked Marley, Reiner protected Falco but lost his will to live, as he had become depressed and suicidal after returning from parody, knowing that he killed thousands of innocent people. Luckily, Falco was one of the reasons why Reiner decided to keep fighting, along with Gabby. 4. I'm completing my mission Colts 2. At the end of the series, Falco was able to reunite with his parents. However, their reunion had to end almost as soon as it began since he. The other Titan shifters and the Ackermans had to fight Eren one last time. Falco said these words to his parents and played his role in saving the world. 3. You only have two years left in your term. Full quote, you only have two years left in your term. If everything keeps going this way and that girl who idolizes you over there ends up inheriting the armor. Gabby will live to be 27. That is, if an artillery shell doesn't take her down first. Is that fine with you? After Gabby helped Marley defeat the Mideast Allied forces, her comrades cheered for her. However, Falco wasn't happy as this only meant her chances of inheriting the armored titan increased. He said these words to Reiner, who pretended to be outraged with Falco and threatened to report this despite actually agreeing with him. Reiner convinced Falco that if he didn't want Gabby to inherit the armored titan, he'd have to work harder so Marley would choose him. 2. All I know is, the incursion on Parody four years ago was a recon enforced mission to prepare for a large-scale attack. Full quote, All I know is, the incursion on Parody four years ago was a recon enforced mission to prepare for a large-scale attack. It was a test to learn about the enemy's combat strength. That's what your mother got wrapped up I in. She didn't commit any sin. I'm sorry. She didn't do anything wrong. When Gabby and Falco were brought to parody, they met Kaya. Even though Gabby hated her, Falco tried to be nice to her, especially since he had started to realize that the Eldians there weren't the devils Marley forced him to believe they were. When Kaya asked why her mother deserved to die, this is what Falco told her. 1. I helped make the attack on Liberio happen. Full quote, I helped make the attack on Liberio happen. I met a wounded soldier at the hospital. What I didn't know was, it was Aaron Yeager and I sent one letter after the next from him to his allies using a mailbox outside the zone leading to that slaughter in Liberio. So it's my fault that Udo and Zofia died. Also, I'm in love with you. I became a warrior candidate because I didn't want you to inherit the armored titan. I wanted you to live a long life. So that we could get married and you could be happy forever. Falco didn't tell Gabby about the role he played in helping Aaron until Marley invaded Parody. He then confessed everything to her. Including his feelings for her, since he expected to be transformed into a titan. The two of them and Colt tried to convince Zeke to wait until Falco was far away to transform the Eldians that drank his spinal fluid. But he refused. However, Falco inherited the Jaw Titan, saved the world, and he was able to live his life with Gabby by his side, as well as Unyankapon and Levi, with who he also became friends. <laughs>